watched that footage. It's certainly astonishing. So, did you find out anything? We did some research on Telos, but we found no relevant information in any database. Everything from its official project proposal to the budget is a complete blank. What about his supporters? Did he erase everything about him in order to preserve secrecy? No. No records ever existed in the first place. How is that possible? It's being used by the military. Beats me, but that's the truth. But you know, if he's clean on the surface, he's probably dirty as hell deep down. Hey, is it possible to transfer Cosmos directly through the UMN? No. All advanced AI devices, including Cosmos, need a UMN tube for transport. Basically, they have to go through the hyperspace or it will damage their functions. In other words, some sort of ship is necessary when moving one. Why do you ask? Well, about a week ago, a Dominic transport ship affiliated with the Hyams Company docked at 5th Jerusalem's 47th port. When I checked its cargo records, I found something interesting. At the time of docking, the port's mass detectors recorded a total mass of 3,751 tons. But at the time it left port, it was 3,750.79 tons. The Dominic has a regular crew of three. This weight difference wasn't caused by people. In other words, these records show that something must have been taken off the ship. Normally, any cargo unloaded into the container terminal, even if it's a government secret, has some sort of record registered. But this time... There was no record. Right. What's the mass of the bare minimum equipment required to maintain Cosmos? Hmm, it depends on the type of frame she's using, but probably around 200 kilograms. Oh. That may be the missing piece, assuming it wasn't constructed on 5th Jerusalem. Then Ormus is involved in Telos's development? But why would they do that? Who knows, but it's disturbingly obvious. They may be deliberately drawing attention to it to cover up something else. What's up? Hey, you guys already started! You could have invited me, you know. You haven't missed a thing. By the way, have you already taken care of what I asked for? You betcha. Xion, we've pretty much finished researching your father. There are some things in life one is better off not knowing. Do you still want to know? Yes, I have to know the truth. This record is in regards to the UTIC organization 15 years ago. The Federal Advanced Technology Special Inspection Bureau. That's the name of the government office that was observing UTIC at the time. Yes. And the person who was appointed to Milsha as the Federation government's inspector was... Uh... I was right, wasn't I? Yes. It's just like you said. Dad was the UTIC organization inspector. He must have had some kind of contact with Professor Mizrahi. Shion. But that doesn't mean he conspired with Professor Mizrahi and summoned the Gnosis. Th this sort of thing happens all the time, you know? An incompetent government bureaucrat fails to stop a crisis and it turns into a catastrophe. What? What kind of example is that? It, uh... I mean... It's okay, don't worry about it. I suspected it all along. Even if he was just an incompetent bureaucrat like you said, he's still guilty of standing by and letting something like that happen. Ugh. <sighs> I finally know why Jin doesn't like the idea of me getting involved as well. I feel better now that I don't have to wonder anymore. Xion. That's right. I suspected it all along. That's why I... Oh, it's from Alan. I'll take it over here. Sh Xion! Xion! Hello. Huh? Chief, what's wrong? Xion! Chief, are you alright? Chief! <sighs> Alan? Are you alright, Chief? You scared me. You collapsed right as the connection went through. You came to check on me? Well, I was the closest. I see. 
Of course, even if we were a million light years apart, I'd still be here in a flash. <laughs> Want something to drink? I had an MC here a few minutes ago, but he said it was probably overexertion. Have you been pushing yourself lately? Yeah, I'm sorry for worrying you. Wait, you need to stay in bed. I'm fine now. A lot happened today, I'm sure that's the reason. Chief, I, uh, have a message for you from committee member Mizrahi. From Yuli? Yes, she says she wants to talk to you, so she'd like to meet with you on the Durandal tomorrow. But if you're not feeling well, I'll ask her to postpone it. You worry too much. I'm fine now. Oh, but tomorrow we were... Ah, it's okay. Talking with member Mizrahi is much more important. Don't worry about canceling our plans. <laughs> we don't have time to be going out to eat dinner. Alan, let's go out for a bit. What? Sure, if you like, that's fine with me.